welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so happy that you joined the family. If you're new, my name is Jenny Campbell and I make fashion and beauty videos here on YouTube on my channel every Monday and Wednesday. And on Fridays I make functional Friday videos and those are just lifestyle videos, different kinds of lifestyle videos. And today is functional Friday. And today I wanted to give you guys, before spring is ushered in, it's quickly approaching, and so I wanted to give you guys another fun spring DIY. I purchased some things from Walmart. If you saw, if you missed that video, I will link it. And I got some really fun spring things from the Dollar Tree, and so I wanted to share those with you. These are gonna be a couple of just fun farmhouse style decor pieces. And so if that sounds like something that you would be interested in seeing, then please keep on watching. Okay, for this first DIY, I just used that little planter. I used some Waverly chalk paint in white and some sandpaper, super easy material. So the first thing I did was I just covered this planter in the white chalk paint and I only covered the outside. I didn't cover the inside because I wanted it to look kind of old and rustic. And so it took about two coats to really not look like you could see through it. Once it was completely covered in chalk paint, I took my sandpaper and I went ahead and went over the words. They were a little bit raised, so going over it with the sandpaper really helped the words to pop. I did the same thing in my last farmhouse DIY and it turned out so well. I really wanted to try it again with this one. I think it turned out wonderfully. I love the way this looked. I think it looks so French countryside and I really liked it. I went ahead and dist also distressed a couple of other spots on it just to make it look extra rustic. Okay, for this next DIY, I used the He Has Risen Alleluia sign that I got at Walmart. I used a few rolls of burlap I got from the Dollar Tree, a wreath form, and lots of different flowers. I used dahlias and dogwood and some cherry blossoms, and I can't remember the other one. But first what I did was I took the plain burlap ribbon, and I think this one is actually from Dollar General not from the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree is always out of burlap. And so I got this at Dollar General, so it may have been $1.50, but I went ahead and just started wrapping this around the wreath form. I hot glued it in one spot and just started wrapping it. And it was a little bit see-through, so I'm wrapping it really tightly together so that the layers will cover up the wreath form really nicely. And so this actually, ended up taking more than one roll of burlap because of that. It was a little bit see-through, so it took me some extra burlap to cover the whole thing. Right where it ran out, I just went ahead and hot glued it in the back and then started another roll. It was super easy and you can't even tell from the front. Okay, so when I had finished wrapping it, I just cut the ribbon and folded it over and hot glued it down. Okay, next I cut the buds off of all of my flowers. These right here are the dahlias, and I really liked that they had a light pink and also a cream color. I thought that would look really nice on a spring wreath. And then here are the other flowers that I can't remember what they're called. They start with an A though, I'm pretty sure, and it was difficult to pronounce, but they're, these are really gorgeous. And then here are the dogwood flowers. I love these. And then here are the cherry blossoms. These are a white cherry blossom. They also had a pink, but it didn't match the pink of the other ones, so I thought these white ones were beautiful. 
To start out, I just left a little space for the sign because I knew the sign was gonna go right there. And then I just started playing with where I wanted the flowers and hot gluing them where I thought I would want them. I started with the dahlias because those were bigger and then I just started adding the other flowers as I liked. I sort of just played with it until I got the look that I liked and I really loved how all these flowers went together. Then I just glued on my He Has Risen Alleluia sign right there in the middle. I wanted this to kind of be off center a little bit and I think it turned out beautifully. This is gorgeous and if you didn't see my Walmart shop with me video, I got this at Walmart for $2.50 and it really made this wreath. I added a few extra flowers because I thought it didn't have enough. Then I took some burlap ribbon. This one has a pattern on it that I got at Dollar General. They also have this pattern at Dollar Tree. And so it's a little bit smaller. And I made a bow out of it. And I just loved it the way this looked with the flowers and the sign. Then I got this pink ribbon at the Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure. And I went ahead and made another bow to go on top of the patterned burlap bow. Here I'm just wrapping a piece of the patterned burlap around the center of both of the bows that I glued together. Here I'm just taking a piece of jute string and I'm making a little hanger for it so that it can hang on my front door. Once I got a good look at it, I thought it needed a few brighter pink flowers to kind of tie in the brighter pink bow. And so I had these flowers that I'd also picked up at the Dollar Tree, and I think they were perfect to tie in that brighter pink with the pink and cream colored flowers. Those are just pink hydrangeas. Okay, for this DIY, you're going to need a big piece of landscaping timber, which mine is cut into three pieces, and then some Waverly chalk paint in whatever colors you want. I'm using pool and elephant, and then some burlap. And so the first thing I did was I decided to measure the timber into the sizes that I want. I'm making candle holders here. And so I measured them to the size that I wanted them and then cut them down. Yes, that is me using a saw. Here we're using a drill bit that my husband had that made these really perfect holes in the wood for our votive candle holders. I will link those in the description box. And so that drill is just making a hole for the candles. These would be really cute even without the hole. You can set a candle on top of them and they would still look cute. Then here I'm sanding the timber down. I wanted to say also that you can get this cut at Lowe's or Home Depot for free. So you can purchase it. They're four or five dollars at Home Depot and you can get it cut into whatever sizes you want for free and they will be happy to do that for you. So I, I sanded down the rough edges but not too much because I wanted it to look really rustic. I didn't want it to be overly sanded down and nice. Um, I really wanted these to look rustic. So I sanded down the inside too just to make sure the candles would sit, sit flat. And then I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color pool and I covered these. These took two coats to really cover. And even then, I mean, they're very rustic looking, which I don't mind at all because that's how I wanted them to look. But if you wanted them to be a little more polished, you might need to use a hand sander or something like that to get them a little bit smoother. Once the top was dry, top two coats were dry, I flipped it over and went ahead and did two coats on the back. And so that's what I'm doing here. I painted the top first, did it one coat, let it dry, did another coat, let it dry, and then I went ahead and flipped it over.
Okay, here I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant, and I'm just going over with a small paintbrush to sort of make this look a little more rustic and farmhouse. Okay, here I took my burlap ribbon and I took three different kinds of burlap ribbon. I took this chevron pattern and I put it on the tallest one. And then I also took a plain burlap ribbon and also a polka dot one. And I just put these around the little candle holders to add a little bit of a flare to it. Okay, I thought it needed a little bit more and so I took a little bit of the extra cherry blossom that I had left over and I took just one little stem for each candle holder and went ahead and added that to the front of the candle holder and I think this looked gorgeous. I loved the way this turned out. So beautiful. You could also add a rhinestone accent if that's more your style or something else like that, but I really thought this turned out beautifully. So those were my new spring DIYs from the Dollar Tree and Walmart. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe so you don't miss any content like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and commenting. You guys are amazing. I am so, so, so blessed by you guys. Thank you very, very much. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>